and the Cincinnati Broadcasters Award for the Air Personality of the Year in a station of 5,000 watts or less goes to... These awards are dumb, man. I mean, really dumb. The award goes to Dr. Johnny Fever. <laughs> See, Les, you didn't win, but Johnny did. Isn't that wonderful? I guess I have a lot of people to thank, so I'll start with all of my friends at WKRP and uh, my 12th grade teacher. <laughs> and uh, this incredibly beautiful woman to my right. Thank you. All of you. <laughs> you know, I think they in for the Most Improved Station Award. You think so, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely, Les. We came from 16th to 14th place. Size is political. I fixed it. <laughs> really, girl? And now, for the most improved station in the greater Cincinnati area, the nominees are WREQ, hey. WTNA, and WKRP. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you. Congratulations. fellas. And the winner is... Come on up here, you crazies. Crazies, that's us. That's us, the crazies. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. WTNA. What? This thing's supposed to be fixed. We're trying to fix this thing. KRP Got kind of tired of packing and unpacking From town to town, up and down the dial Maybe you and me were never meant to be Just maybe think of me once in a while I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati your uh, little prize? Yeah. <laughs> Do I detect a note of envy in your voice? None at all. <laughs> so, where did you disappear to last night? Boy, you remember that little presenter, Celeste? I don't think I'm interested in hearing this. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say it was an award-winning night all the way around. <laughs> You are a sleaze bag, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey. Good morning, Les. Oh, Les, I'm really sorry that you didn't win the award last night, but that's life. Those are the breaks. Ah! Fruit of the looms a little tight. <laughs> that was a primal scream, John. <laughs> I read about it in a book. Doesn't work for me, but I do it. Uh, Les, how about if I get you some coffee and a nice plate full of danishes? Well... It'll make you feel better. Look, as long as you're volunteering, Bailey, I could use another pail of coffee here. Oh, how rude of me not to have asked the big winner. Perhaps I should strap the coffee machine on my back. Is there anything else? No, but I would like one of those danishes you're gonna get for Les, okay? Oh! That's very good. <laughs> Oh, Jennifer, what happened to us last night? I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, I mean, how do we let that award slip through our fingers like that? There's something's wrong. Oh, you win next year. No, 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 something's wrong here. I've given Travis too much of a free hand around here. I gotta take charge. Mr. Carlson, this new change is not gonna work. Now, I talked to Travis, but all he did was give me the runaround. Listen, Venus, I'm aware of the circumstances here, and I'm going to take steps to rectify that problem immediately. Well, thanks, Mr. Carlson. <laughs> Anytime, Venus. Anytime. <laughs> uh, 
That's how you handle things around here. What was he talking about? Andy moved Venus's show up an hour to give him more drive time. Oh. Venus doesn't like it. He's very angry. Tough. You just overruled Andy. Good. None of this confuses you? No. Okay. Good morning. For some. Fine. You're undermining my authority with the DJs. I am not. You just told Venus he didn't have to do what I told him that he had to do. Now, that makes me sound like a fool. Now, you can take it. I thought I was supposed to be responsible for programming this station. Responsible? You talking to me? Resp I'll tell you about responsibility, buddy. Running this station is a 24-hour-a-day job. What do you think I do around here? Sleep? Yes, I do. Damn right I sleep. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up, and when I wake up, I wake up worried, and that's what I call responsible, Travis. Are you saying that I'm not responsible? Oh, well, something's wrong around here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell you how my morning's been going so far. Venus is angry. Les is suicidal. Bailey's on some irrational tear about coffee or something, and Herb is Herb. <laughs> Well, what's your point, Travis? You blaming me? No, I'm not. I'm just saying we should have a staff meeting and straighten these things out. You know I don't like meetings. Mr. Carlson, this is almost important. <laughs> All right, then. If you think this calls for a meeting, I'll call for a meeting. Good. When? Well, I'll make an executive appraisal. Ooh. Great. When? Well, I'll, I'll let you know. When? I'll call you. <laughs> I could have been a forest ranger, but I turned it down. <laughs> I could have been out there in the woods right now, just wandering around. <laughs> now, you tell me how my gas bill could suddenly go up 58 bucks. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, pal. I'm not hanging up till I get an answer. I mean, hell could freeze over. Her? Mr. Carlson asked me to take down the decorations for the victory party. I'd like your help, and I'd like it now. So watch it. Ready? I do you a favor, you do me a favor. Just get up the ladder. Okay, fine. That is his second cup today. I spent thirty thousand dollars on an education just to get coffee for a DJ. I mean, he doesn't even chip in for the coffee fund. How unfair is that? I keep reminding myself, I am basically an executive. Smile, be smart, you'll get your chance. Bailey, can I have one of those danishes? Sure. <laughs> I get better get cleaned up. I'll do that, that later. Okay. And her, everybody's a little on edge after last night, so don't stir anything up, okay? Now, what is that supposed to mean? Just try and be nice to everybody. I am nice. Recovered from your crushing defeat yet? <laughs> Just leave me alone, Herb. Oh, come on, Les. It's not the end of the world. It is so. Now, look, you got your uh, silver-plated pig thing here. <laughs> that is the coveted Silver Sow Award, Herb. <laughs> and, of course, I've got my five Buckeye Newshawk Awards. But that's all I've got. My career is all that's ever mattered to me, Herb. You've got a life outside these four walls. You've got Lucille and the children. You got a dog. <laughs> How long can a dog last, Herb? Fourteen years, tops. Don't be such a wimp. A what? A wimp. What does that mean? A jerk, a crybaby, a weakling, and nobody. <laughs> well, what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Let's go to lunch. Lunch! <laughs> lunch! I think it's your responsibility to mention this to Have Johnny. you ever actually asked him yes. to kick in some money? Yes, all the time, of course. Are you kidding? Herb, well, you could pick on less. <laughs> what is this, dunk on garlic thing? Travis, we need some new headphones in there. We need everything. <laughs> I can't have it. No, you can't have You give him some coffee, you kick him some money. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's it. going on in here? <laughs> you want to get out
Travis, this station is a shambles. Oh, really, sir? Actually, I think the operation's running very smoothly. Well, it's not. I'm going to call a meeting about that. I want the staff in this office this afternoon exactly at 2 o'clock. It's 2.30. Is that clear? Meeting? A meeting? Oh, now, there's a good idea. Oh, thanks. Carry on. Wait, hold, hold on. Wait, hold on. Thanks a lot, man. I can't have been a forest ranger. Okay, Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. How's it going? Hi. Hi. Hey. All right, please, uh, please be seated. Uh, 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 thanks. Now, <clears throat> it's, uh, it, it's come to my attention that uh, some of us, well, maybe all of us, aren't getting along uh, as well as we sh could or, or should with each other. Uh, anybody care to talk about that? <laughs> well, now, does anybody here think that uh, we, we've got some problems? <laughs> now, uh, I know that, uh, you know, it's not easy to talk about these things. <laughs> Uh, and less now. Heck, <laughs> you guys are, you know, real good friends. <laughs> but deep down underneath, don't you kind of hate each other's guts? <laughs> well, how about you, Andrew? I mean, uh, wouldn't things be a little easier for you if, uh, if uh, I weren't around? Venus, uh, fever. Now, surely you two guys have got some, you know, deep under underlying professional jealousy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer and, and, and Bailey. <laughs> now, now, there's got to be a, a little something there, right? <laughs> a little. <laughs> Okay, I guess everything, uh, everything's just fine here then, huh? Yeah, it's just my uh, imagination, huh? <laughs> All right, the meeting's adjourned. And Jennifer, you can put the phone back on the hook. Wait a minute. You took the phone off the hook. Yes. Why? Because he told me to. Well, now that's dumb. What do you mean, dumb? Customers could be calling in. You don't have any customers, Herb. <laughs> I would if I worked at another station. Then why don't you quit? Stuff it, you lousy punk. Aha. <laughs> uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. You see, now, there it is. So we, we, we've got a problem. Lousy punk. Now, that, that's rough. Uh, Mr. Carlson, I, um, I took a group dynamics course in college, and I was thinking that perhaps maybe we could break up into dyads. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> dyad? What, what, what's a dyad? Uh, it's a drug. <laughs> Let me show you, okay? Um, Andy, would you come over here, please? Oh, come on, Bailey, now, come please. Come on, you come over here and you stand there, okay? And then, Mr. Carlson, I, I want you to stand here, okay? Oh, dear. I want you to look at Andy, and Andy, I want you to look at Mr. Carlson, okay? Now, just see each other. Get used to one another's bodies. <laughs> hey, come on. Right off, okay? Now, I want you to, to move closer to one another. I mean, just take one step at a time. Come on, one step. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Okay, now, Andy, come closer. There. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's just great. A little less rigid, Travis. I'm not rigid. <laughs> You're a little rigid, Travis. Yeah, you are a little rigid. Now, say the first thing that comes to your mind. Come on, say it. Say it. Come on, say it. You got nice hair. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, well, Bailey, why don't you and Jennifer try it? What? <laughs> you and Jennifer oh, do no. it. Oh, no. Jennifer, Diane time. Come on, Diane. Let's go. Oh, okay. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> 
Hello. Hello. What honesty? Oh, well, Bailey, you know, come on. Uh, say the first thing that comes to your mind, right? Go ahead, say it. You can do it. Oh, go on. Okay. Go ahead. Go on, get used to each other's bodies. <laughs> getting anywhere with this. Now, I've had some experience in the same kind of thing. And the first thing we can, we have to do before we do anything else is relax. Oh, now, come on, everybody just sit down. Come on, sit down. Come on. I can't just relax. Sit down. Now, I want everybody to close their eyes and breathe deeply. Come on, everybody, just close your eyes and breathe in deeply. That's good, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Herb, you don't have your eyes closed. He's watching Jennifer. <laughs> well, don't. Just pretend you're on your own private beach. Just you and the water. Isn't that nice? Picture the sun, the sand, the emerald surf. I want a girl. Huh? <laughs> I want a girl on my beach. Okay. <laughs> Okay, everybody's alone except Johnny, who has a girl with him. Well, that's hardly fair. I give up. <laughs> Fever always gets preferential treatment. That's right. That's exactly right. Look, Nesman, uh, I won some lousy award, and you didn't, and that's why you're upset, okay? Oh, I'm not upset. I couldn't care less about your lousy award. I don't care about it either, Les. Really? Really. I... It is recognition, but what else do DJs get? I mean, we're just voices in the air, but we're what makes radio alive. And what do we get for it? it? Seems like every year you pack everything up, move to another town. It gets harder and harder to find a station that'll let you program music you want to play. And you're 40, and there's some kid half your age who will take your job and do it for half the money. And, and then you find yourself making silly demands. Free coffee. But that's my little moment of honesty, so we can get back to the nonsense. Herb. Thank you, John. <laughs> I was born. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I was. I mean, you guys think DJing is tough. Well, you ought to try stepping into my suit. <laughs> Must be murder just trying to match the tie with the suit. Sometimes I can't do it. Uh, excuse me, um, Johnny. I uh, I appreciate what you said earlier, and uh, I'm sorry about the coffee, and I think it should be on the house. No, I'll chip in. No, wait just a minute here. Wait a minute. This meeting is starting to lose some of its bitterness. <laughs> I think that's a healthy trend. Now, I'm very depressed. I have some questions, and I want some answers. Sure thing. First of all, why are we all here on this planet? <laughs> As opposed to where, Les? Uh, Les, do you have another question of a perhaps less philosophical nature? Yes, I do, Travis. Why don't I have any walls? You're behind this. No walls. Aw, oh, come on, Les. If you had walls, then, then Herb here would want walls, and then the DJs would want walls, and then Bailey'd want walls, and pretty soon we'd have a room full of nothing but walls. We don't need walls. Andy, calm down. Well, I'm sorry. But the point of this whole thing is we don't need to build more walls. What we need to do is we need to tear down the walls that already separate us. I can't believe I just said that. That's the corniest thing I've ever said in my life. I'm gonna go right back over there and be sick. Travis, in my opinion, the management of this station is not responsive to the needs of the news department. Come on, how can you say that? Wake up, Mr. Carlson. Wake up. Oh, sure, you people have all got your petty little problems. <laughs> what about me? Huh? I got to deal with my mother every single day. <laughs> Folks, there's a woman that could disarm Patton in a sec. <laughs> Trouble? <laughs> 
My life's full of trouble. My wife is pregnant. My 12-year-old son wants to join the American Nazi party. <laughs> sure, I'm conservative, eh? but you, that's nuts. <laughs> For his birthday, he wants a, an automatic weapon. <laughs> Keeps talking about taking Ohio first. <laughs> What does he mean by that? Mr. Charles, here, sit down, sit down, just relax. And another thing I don't understand, Eddie, is I, I don't understand how we lost that award last night. I, I just don't get it. Jennifer, come on, d d tell me, what, what's happening? I don't know. Oh, don't lie to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. There is a problem. We didn't win the award, and now everyone's trying to blame everyone else. It's only natural. You know, it happens in the best of families. People spend a lot of time together and they start to get on one another's nerves. Have you ever noticed how you can be extremely polite to a total stranger and then just turn right around and be rude to the person closest to you? We just all take one another for granted. But think of it this way. Who would want to come to work tomorrow if if, say, Les wasn't here. He's family. And there's Mr. Carlson, the occasionally confused but always concerned father. Andy, the success-oriented, competent, tight-panted son. <laughs> Les, Les, the consistently strange, bookish brother. And Herb, the semi-lovable troublemaker and general jackass. Yeah. Johnny, the weather-beaten uncle who always wanted to be a sailor. No, that's not right. I never could nail you down. <laughs> and Venus, the spiritual, loving brother. And Bailey. Bailey, the beautiful, shy sister with the brains. Now, that's what I call a pretty nice family. Jennifer. You always have such a nice, nice way of putting everything. <laughs> oh. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Les, I've got enough problems. Look, I'm going to be going along. I feel a group hug building here. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think you're right. Guess I'll get back to whatever it is I do around here. Oh, uh, sorry, Andy. Me too. Mind if I help you do whatever it is that you do around here? Well, you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, how about a beer? I'm buying. You're on, sport. Um, uh, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. Um, I don't think I was, uh, mad about, um, the coffee. I, I think I was mad because, uh, you haven't, um, asked me out in a long time. I could, uh, keep the tux for another night. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm busy all week. <laughs> yes, uh, I think so. <laughs> Her? Yeah? Why do you suppose we're all here on this planet? Disgusting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 